Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL P4 which is titled Side Lengths and Angle Measures in Similar Figures. So these problems are going to be a series of problems that give you two similar shapes and they ask you to figure out an angle or a side length of either one of the shapes based off of the original. So what you really only need to know for these problems is what makes two shapes similar. The two things are one, all of the angles have to be the exact same. So for instance, angle D is 32 and therefore it's um, corresponding angle P on the other triangle also has to be 32. B, which is 100, means Q has to be 100 and C, which is uh, unknown, uh, although you can do the math and see that it is 48, uh, meaning R has to be 48 as well. Uh, that's number one. Number two, all of the side lengths for the corresponding sides have to be proportional. Okay, and I can get into that uh, in a little bit when some examples come up. But uh, the first thing I want to note for this question right here is that it starts with a similarity statement, that thing right there, right? And so it's saying that triangle BCD is similar, that should, that's what the little squiggly or tilde means, uh, to triangle QPR. And remember, when you write a similarity statement like this, each letter has to correspond with the uh, letter on the other side of the statement. So B and Q correspond, C and R correspond, and D and P correspond. So it's written very specifically that way. You can't just write them willy-nilly. You've got to write them in order to how they correspond. Okay, so the question here is asking, what is the measure for angle Q? Well, like we said earlier, uh, B is 100 and Q is similar to B, right? And you can see that with our similarity statement, B is the first letter and Q is the first letter. So since the angles have to be the same, Q is just going to be 100. Okay, uh, triangle GHI is similar to TVU. What is UV? Okay, so we will go to our side length over here. The UV looks like the base of the second triangle, so we'll go to the base of the first triangle and we'll see it's at four. So what we'll do is we'll draw a proportion statement because since we absolutely know that both triangles are similar, that means they have to be proportional. And so what you're gonna do is assuming all three sides are proportional, and they are in this case, you can choose um, either side whether it's the hypotenuse or the, the long leg here, the triangle, and compare it with the same side of the other triangle, and then compare that with your missing side. So this is what I mean. What I'll do is I'll write uh, the hypotenuse over the hypotenuse. Okay, so we'll do a fraction with the hypotenuse of the left over the hypotenuse of the right. And we're gonna set that equal to the uh, our missing side now so which is going to be the uh, base of the left one over the base of the right one which is our missing uv okay again it doesn't have to be the hypotenuse it can be the other side um, but when you write this out make sure that you are consistent so if you do the uh, left hypotenuse over the right hypotenuse then the other side of the equation has to be the left over the right as well okay so the left hypotenuse is 7 over the right hypotenuse, which is 35, which is equal to the length uh, HI, which is 4, over our missing UV. Okay. And then from here, since they have to equal each other and we just want to find what UV is, we're going to cross multiply. Or use the what they call the helicopter method, right? Okay, so 7 times UV is just 7UV. You can also use something like X in there if you wanted, just to uh, uh, so you didn't have to write actually uh, UV, whatever you want to do. And then we'll set that equal to 4 times 35 is 140. Okay, now to get UV by itself, we'll divide both sides by 7. Okay, so we are left with UV equals uh, 140 divided by 7 is 20. And there you have it. UV is 20 units long. So we'll go back and we'll do 20. 
Okay. Um, find the find the side TU. So this is the same deal. Um, in fact, I'll do this one pretty quick. So we have the base for both triangles, and we have um, four over here is the side length, and then we're missing the side length over here. That's the one we want to find. And so what you could do, you don't have to write out the proportion if you don't want to, as long as you can do it in your head. So what we'll see here is we know, again, we know the triangles are similar, and the base of the left one is going to be 2, and the base of the right one is 8. Well, how do we get from 2 to 8, right? What's, kind of, what's, what's our scale factor, is, as one might say? Well, 2 times 4 is 8, meaning your scale factor is going to be 4, meaning the rest of the sides are also going to be a factor of 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. So if we want to compare these two sides, 4 times our 4, our scale factor, is going to be 16. Okay? And that's going to be it. I mean, that matches up with this side too, meaning it's an isosceles triangle. But we wouldn't really know that unless we compared. But yeah, that's going to be 16. You could have used your proportion ratio or write out the fraction, but you don't have to if you can do it in your head. Okay? I think the problems are just a series of these. Okay, so this next problem. So we have this polygon here, these uh, two polygons. They're similar, again, because we have a similarity statement here. We know that. And it's just asking for the angle P. What is angle P, or for the, the measure for angle P, which is just the number. Okay, well, we'll go to our similarity statement here, and we'll see which, uh, which side, or I'm sorry, which corner goes with P. So P is the first letter in the similarity statement on the left side. So on the right side, the first letter is going to correspond. So that's going to be the same as E. So P and then E. So E is 93. Therefore, P is also going to be 93 degrees. Cool. Okay. PQRS, similar to K, H, I, J, find H, K. Okay, so similarity statement. So H, K right here. Uh, we have HK, the first two letters of the similarity statement on the right. So therefore, it's going to be proportionate to the first two letters on the left, so PQ. So PQ and HK correspond. And so just like the other time, we will uh, draw our proportion ratio. Okay. And we'll just use the uh, size that we already know for the left side. So we'll do, uh, let's see, what do we have? We have SP, so we have the fir first and the fourth letter. And do we have JK? No, we do not, so we're not going to use that one. Uh, we have, what else do we have? We have QR. QR, the second and the third letter. And do we have the second and the third letter of the similarity statement here? HI, HI, yes we do. So we're going to use that. So we'll go the right or the left side over the right so we'll go qr over uh, hi and we'll set that equal to what we need to know which is hk let's see pq over rhk because again, we need to find HK, right? And HK are the first two letters of that, uh, the right side of the statement, and PQ are the first two letters of the left, so they're going to be proportionate. Okay, so we have the that side over that side, so left over right. So now we'll plug in the numbers. QR is going to be 32 over HI, which is 4 equals PQ, which is 16, over our missing HK. Okay, so now I'm going to cross multiply here. And it doesn't really matter the order you could have gone in. You could have gone um, HI over QR equals HK over PQ and had them flip. So it's 4 over 32 equals HK over 16. doesn't matter. Again, just as long as you're consistent and you stick with the same layout in the same format left to right or side to side you're fine so we'll do 32 times hk 32 hk equal to 4 times 16 which is 64 okay to get hk by itself we'll divide both sides by 32 so we are left with hk 
equals 2. All right, so the length of this side is just going to be 2. Cool. So we'll go back, back, 2. Okay, I'm going to skip some to see if there's anything too different here. Okay, so then the problems you get to later on just ask you to do the same thing except for multiple sides or multiple angles. So this one, for instance, it's just asking what the measure for angle H, A, and D are. Okay, so we'll uh, just go to the sim similarity statement. H is the second letter, so we'll go over here. So B is the uh, angle that is corresponding. So if B is 119, that means H is also 119. A is the first letter, and K is the first letter. So if K is 95, that means A is also 95. 95. And then angle D. So D is the last letter on the left side. J is the last letter on the left side. So J is 62, and therefore D is also going to be 62. Okay. Okay, these are just two sides right there. And we get to the end here. And same deal. So same problems we've seen before, just they're asking you for three different answers now instead of one. Okay, so that's where I'm going to end the video. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.